about 1650 to 1701. That was the period in which the Virginia Indians lost most of their land to encroaching settlers because the settlers were pouring in in droves and they were terrifically land hungry. They were hoping to raise tobacco and make their fortune. The greed was incredible and the Indians had the misfortune of not understanding that once you sold land to an English person, that English person considered it to be English property for the rest of time. And Indian culture didn't practice it that way. If you farmed a piece of land, it was yours as long as you farmed it. And whenever you let it go fallow, it becomes public land again. It's not yours. You have to share. And through sales like this, and sometimes simply through being run out, the people lost most of their land. Oh, and come to think of it, you may like beef. Well, the critter that makes the beef, the cow, was a major player in Indians losing their land. Cows, if you have ever stood next to one, are big things. They're heavy, they're thick, they may like to step on your feet. And if somebody's cows come onto your land, you probably are going to have a miserable time trying to get them off again. Cows also have been known to eat corn and they come into an Indian person's cornfield and they start munching away and you're not big enough to drive them away. So herding your cattle onto an Indian's cornfield was a real good way to get that Indian family to lose their sustenance and have to go off and get food somewhere else. If it's toward the end of the growing season, you're not going to raise any more corn. They've got to get the stuff for their bread from various marsh plants like Tuckahoe. And so, of course, they're going to leave the vicinity. Englishman then moves in, considers the land his, maybe gets a patent on it, which makes it legal, and the land is lost to Indian ownership thereafter.